refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage, and govern them forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Thank the Lord for a beautiful day and our gift of our life. Uh, Let us also humble ourselves to come before the great uh, majestic presence of the Lord to acknowledge the our sinfulness and the seeking God's grace to grow spiritually and grow all the way. Lord, you come to hear the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you have come to give us peace and pardon. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the King of uh, peace and justice. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to your everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and respect your holy name. For you never deprive your guidance, those you set from the foundations of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated to listen to the Word of God. A reading from the second book of Kings. Sennacherib, king of Assyria, sent envoys to Hezekiah with this message. Thus shall you say to Hezekiah, king of Judah, Do not let your uh, God on whom you rely deceive you by saying that Jerusalem will not be handed over to the king of Assyria. You have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all the other countries. They doomed them. Will you then be saved? Hezekiah took the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord, and spreading it out before him, he prayed in the Lord's presence. O Lord, God of Israel, enthroned upon the cherubim, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made the heavens and the earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, which he sent to taunt the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands and cast their gods into the fire. They destroyed them because they were not gods, but the work of human hands, wood and stone. Therefore, O Lord our God, save us from the power of this man, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone, O Lord, are God. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, sent this message to Hezekiah. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, In answer to your prayer for help against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have listened. This is the word the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you, laughs you to scorn, the virgin daughter Sion. Behind you she wags her head, daughter Jerusalem. For out of Jerusalem shall come a remnant, and from Mount Zion survivors. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not reach this city, nor shoot an arrow at it, nor come before it with the shield, nor cast upon siege works against it. He shall return by the same way he came, without entering the city, says the Lord. I will shield and save this city for my own sake, and for the sake of my servant David. That night the angel of the Lord went forth and struck down 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. So Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, broke camp and went back home to Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with their castles, renowned as he is a stronghold. O God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. 
As your name, O God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Of justice, your right hand is full. God upholds his city forever. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your paws before swine, lest they tremble them underfoot, and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do unto you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, and for the gate is wide, and the road broad, that leads to destruction. And those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate, and constricted the road, that leads to life. And those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus teaches his disciples uh, what is famously called the golden rule. So what is this golden rule? You know, this uh, treat others what as you would like to be treated. So basically, you know, when you think of it, uh, you know, how do you like to be treated? You like to be treated with respect. Uh, you like to be treated with the kindness. You like to be treated with understanding. You like to be treated with the generosity. You know, all those things are actually great and elevates our spirit. So, but the Lord wants us to be conscious that in our treatment of others, we also extend that expectations. Just as I have a high expectation of myself from others, so you should have a high expectation of yourself to the other. And then that will lead to greater understanding, greater relationship, and greater harmony. And that's a beautiful golden rule. This golden rule is, the Lord Jesus says, it is a fulfillment. It is the essence of the law and the prophet. The law is also to bring, bring respect and justice. And the prophet's teaching is also always about, uh, about the... Uh, uh, justice and peace. So all those values which are never, never uh, change, which means they are eternal, they are to be respected and to be, to be uh, honored. The word S-A-L-T can kind of summarize, if we do an, to an elongation of each word, that will give us a kind of clue as to keep in your mind, you know. So the S of the salt could stand for serve. When we have become adult and mature, our only question, St. Teresa of Avila says, how can I help you? That will be really a question. Instead of, how can others help me? How can I help you? Serve. And secondly, it is uh, appreciate. You know, learn to appreciate the goodness. The other day I was with uh, uh, three women and they were taking care of, uh, you know, of, uh, somebody who has cancer. And then... Uh, we are seeing all the misery on the face of the other person. But then one of the women said, you know, that he is really a holy person. You know, he is really a, he a wonderful holy person, you know. How come you don't able to see that? But somebody is able to see and appreciate it. That's the way we may be able to see the goodness, hidden goodness in each other. And a beautiful way we can bring out that goodness, appreciate. And third one is to love basically extend our goodwill and uh, and what we wish the best to, to the others and that uh, that will add to the saltiness as Jesus talks about and finally T is treasure treasure the dignity of the other person as God's own children in today's world even the dignity is trampled in different ways in the name of job in the name of sex in the name of color in the name of skin all those but that need to go away there's no place for our civilized society for those kind of behavior of prejudice or those kind of uh, not treasuring the other. 
So in order to practice a golden rule, it is said, remember the salt, as Jesus told us, to not lose the saltiness. They always uh, ask the ability to serve, ability to appreciate, to love, and finally treasure the other. And you all get that, all those things back. You receive the service, you receive the appreciation, receive the love, and God will treasure our own very lives. So our intentions to the Lord, Lord, we bring before you all those who are gone and died, and that the Lord may bring peace to their soul, especially those who are affected by the by the virus. Let's also pray for um, uh, Tony Allman. Let's pray for uh, uh, the end of uh, Hector and Lulu. Let's pray for Father Thomas, who is going through the last stages of his life in Des Moines. And all those who are near and dear ones uh, who need our prayer and support, that the Lord may continue to cherish them and strengthen them. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness. We are this bread to offer which the earth has given, and the human hands have made. It will become for us a bread of life. Blessed, be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness. We are this wine to offer fruit of the vine, and work of the human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God Blessed. 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 and cleanse me from my faults. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to Lord the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of reconciliation and praise. Grant that to cleanse by His action, we may make offering of a heart to pleasing to You. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with You. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself for us with a wonderful love, and poured out blood and water from his peers to sight, a whispering of church sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the Son and the Highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son and the Highest. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless and acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. 
make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice and in his holy and venerable hands, once more giving you thanks, said the blessing, gave the chalice to your disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, uh, when we eat this bread, drink this cup, I think I jumped the gun, we'll pray the high priestly prayer. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, the glorious ascension into heaven, O Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure and holy and spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you almighty God, Command these gifts to be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation of the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son and be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, Pope Francis, William, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also that those gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who though we sinners, hope in your abandoned mercies. Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and saints, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, you fill them with the life, you bless them, and you bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The serious command and formed by divine teaching, we invoke our Heavenly Father, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin, safe from our distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Your apostles, I live you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us a peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Amen. 
Lamb of God, who are the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and this peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not to serve you. Release the word, so shall be healed. May the blood of body of Christ to keep us safe for eternal life. O oh, Divine Savior, I come before you recognizing the hunger of my heart for your presence. My heart cries out in need for your mercy. Although I cannot receive you in Holy Communion, I ask you to enter my heart, body, and soul spiritually. Open me to the infilling of your presence so that I may come to experience in a new way the power of your healing, light, serenity, and peace. May I yearn more intensely for the day I can receive you once again in the Eucharist. Body, blood, soul, and divinity. Amen. So, so remember and uh, pray for the staff who is affected by the viruses that they may continue to experience the relief and the strength and the restoration of the full health. The eyes of all who look to you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished and strengthened by the sacred body and the precious blood of